Hello, my name is Dr. Roth, and today we're going to be discussing the outer portion of the intervertebral disc. It's called the annulus fibrosis. Uh, the annulus fibrosis is a little bit different in the neck than in the middle and lower back, so today I'm just going to be discussing the middle back and the lower back. Uh, there is a disc in between each uh, ver inter uh, vertebral body in, this, in these regions, and the disc is made up of two parts, the annulus fibrosis, which is the outer portion of the disc, all the way around, uh, which we'll be discussing today. And then on the inside of that is the nucleus pulposus, uh, which is watery, viscous, gelatin-like substance that uh, basically uh, uses the pressure and compression forces from the spine movement and to uh, move around. Now, discussing back to the annulus fibrosis, the outer portion of this is very strong, dense, tensile strength, and... Um, You've got rings, several rings, each one supporting the next, the one in front of it and the one behind it. Uh, there's about 20 in the front, which is where it's the strongest, and on the sides and in the back, anywhere between 10 and 15. So it's still very strong, just not quite as strong. That is the reason why most, if nearly all disc herniations, protrusions, and extrusions are either on the side or, and or on the back. So to give you a little bit more uh, details about the outer portion of the disc, these rings are concentric, they're going around in circles, and they are uh, lined up at about a 65 degree angle, give or take 10 degrees. And when the spine is pulled apart or twisted, they move like this and increasing tensile strength. It almost works like a Chinese finger trap where when you stick your fingers in and try to take it out, it becomes stronger and more difficult to remove your fingers. That's uh, analogous to how the fibers of the annulus fibrosis work. Uh, now the annulus fibrosis is made up of two different types of collagen, which is a connective tissue on the outside type one, which is uh, by far the strongest and most uh, durable, and then on the inside and still very strong, type 2, not quite as strong as type 1 on the outside. Now these connect, the discs, con the annulus fibrosis connects to the vertebral body above and below by the end plates, vertebral end plates, and it also kind of uh, blends in with the outer portion of the nucleus pulposus. Now with age, that becomes uh, more significant, really the inner part of the annulus fibrosis uh, you really can't tell the difference between where the inner part of the annulus fibrosis and the outer part of the nucleus pulposus ends. Another thing that can happen with age is this becomes less hydrated, so there's less water and it becomes less mobile. It also be, can become a little bit brittle and end up with cracks or fissures, and this will lead the nucleus pulposus to escaping uh, out of the center of the spine and in many cases out of the annulus fibrosis and into the body, into the uh, intervertebral foramens, onto the nerve roots, things like that. That is what a disc herniation or protrusion or extrusion is called. Um, now there's two different types of tears. Circumferential, which is when the tear is all the way along the outside, and there is radial, which is straight through the middle. A radial is a little bit more serious, and through radial fissures is where uh, a lot of the nucleus pulposus can escape, causing a tremendous amount of pain and other symptoms in uh, clinically in the patient. And um, ultimately, the uh, the, nucle the nucleus pulposus will escape because there's a tremendous amount of pressure on the inside in the nucleus pulposus and less pressure. And if you're familiar with physics, you know that uh, objects of matter will move from areas of higher uh, pressure into areas of lower pressure, which is what happens. Um, uh, next time we'll go into a little bit more detail about the nucleus pulposus which is the middle portion of this and uh, a little bit of more of how those act and how those move thank you very much and have an excellent day